Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations a squared minus b is equal to 21 and b squared minus a is equal to 21. Our job is to find all possible values of a and b. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation number 1 and this equation equation number 2. And from equation 1 we subtract equation 2. This will become a squared minus b minus b squared minus a is equal to 21 minus 21. Remove brackets this will become a squared minus b minus b squared plus a is equal to this will become 0. Now we combine these two terms a squared and a negative b squared and we combine these two terms negative b and plus a. So this will become a squared minus b squared plus a minus b is equal to 0. Now this a squared minus b squared can be factorized as a plus b times a minus b plus uh, from these two terms uh, we can factor out 1 in bracket left uh, a minus b is equal to 0. Now as you can see this expression a minus b is a common factor so we factor out this uh, a minus b and uh, in bracket left uh, in bracket left this uh, a plus b plus 1 in bracket left a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0 from here either this a minus b is equal to 0 or this a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0 from this equation if we move this negative b to the right hand side this implies that b is equal to a and uh, from this equation if we move this a and this one to the right hand side this implies that uh, b is equal to negative 1 minus a. Now we recall equation number 1. Equation 1 is uh, a squared minus b is equal to 21. Equation 1 is uh, a squared minus b is equal to 21 and we copy equation 1 here a squared minus b is equal to 21 first we solve this case in this equation we replace this b with this a so this will become a squared minus a is equal to 21 move this uh, 21 to the left hand side this will become a squared minus a minus 21 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula according to quadratic formula a is equal to negative times b is negative 1 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 21 divided by 2 times a is 1 next a is equal to negative times negative 1 will become positive 1 plus minus square root of this negative 1 squared is positive 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 21 will become plus 84 divided by 2 times 1 2 a is equal to 1 plus minus 
this uh, root 1 plus 84 will become root 85 divided by 2. Now to find the value of b recall that recall that b is equal to a recall that b is equal to a so from this case uh, we get the same value for b b is equal to 1 plus minus root 85 divided by 2 now we solve the second case in the second case uh, we replace this b with this negative 1 minus a so this will become a squared minus in place of b we write negative 1 minus a is equal to 21 and uh, a squared negative times negative 1 will become plus 1 and negative times uh, negative a will become plus a is equal to 21 move this uh, 21 to the left hand side this will become a squared plus uh, a plus 1 minus 21 is equal to 0 and this will become a squared plus uh, a 1 minus 21 will become negative 20 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable so we solve it by factorization we write this uh, a squared and we split this uh, a as plus uh, 5 times a minus 4 times a minus 20 is equal to 0 from these two terms uh, a squared plus 5a we can factor out a in bracket left uh, a plus uh, 5 and uh, from these two terms uh, negative 4a minus 20 we can factor out negative in bracket left a plus 5 is equal to 0 and this a plus 5 is a common factor so we factor out this a plus 5 and in bracket left this a and this negative 4 in bracket left a minus 4 is equal to 0 from here either this a plus 5 is equal to 0 or this a minus 4 is equal to 0 from this equation we get the value of a is equal to negative 5 and from this equation we get the value of a is equal to 4 now to find the values of b we recall that recall that b is equal to negative 1 minus a recall that b is equal to negative 1 minus a b is equal to negative 1 minus a so when a is negative 5 then b will be equal to b will be equal to negative 1 minus minus 5 and b will be equal to negative 1 plus uh, 5 and b will be equal to positive 4 and when a is 4 then b will be equal to negative 1 minus 4 and b will be equal to negative 5 it means that uh, when a is uh, negative 5 then b will be 4 and when a is 4 then b will be negative 5 from this case when a is 1 plus root 85 over 2 b will also be equal to 1 plus minus root 85 over 2 so the final set of solutions of a comma b is equal to the first pair is negative 5 comma 4 and the second is 
फोर का मान नेगेटिव फाइव एंड थर्ड इज वन प्लस रूट एटी फाइव ओवर टू का वन प्लस रूट एटी फाइव ओवर टू इन द फोर्थ पेयर इज वन माइनस रूट एटी फाइव ओवर टू का वन माइनस रूट एटी फाइव ओवर टू दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम